Hey guys, thanks for joining me, and if you like what you see, please subscribe. Hi peoples, welcome to Sharp Ends. Today I am going to be doing a quick review of the Moral from uh, uh, McGurin Knives. I believe that's how you pronounce it. This is how you spell it. Um, and I just did an assembly and I've done an unboxing and I'm very impressed with this. The value on this is off the charts. Um, they, for, this is $49. I'll lead with that. This is $49. And every single one of these, uh, uh, McGurin knives comes with a milled titanium clip. A lot of the other budget, all of the other budget knives, uh, let's take the Sen Cut which is one of my favorites, comes with a bent clip, which is absolutely fine. In this case, this is a very nice bent clip. But you can see here, uh, you know, it's proud at the back, and it's, uh, although the screws are inset on the uh, Sen Cut Serene. Um, the McGurin here, very nice milled clip. Also reversible, very nice. Um, you've got this peel ply, which is just awesome, in my opinion. I like I, I like the texture of peel ply. A lot of the uh, newer knives these days are coming out with aluminum or steel handles, which I also find are just fine for a budget knife. But this is also a great alternative. Uh, very nicely radius and cut. This is slab construction. By that, I mean you've got a slab of your uh, G10, and then you've got steel liners, and then you've got a backspacer instead of barrels. A lot of the other of the knives have barrels like this, and um, this one has a nice big piece of G10 with an insert there, and you'll see in my in my uh, disassembly video, it basically has a thread in there that the screws go into. This displaces the torque and the force better than a barrel does, in my opinion. The knife comes really close to the edge, but even pushing down, it doesn't get there. And then you have another slab of steel, another uh, slab of G10. Uh, it has a nice, all the hardware on this is T8. There's no difference between it, which is really great, I think. Um, you've got a two-tone wash or finish. You've got like a, a nice tumble here, and then you've got like a belt finish up here. And I find that just, that's just a great little detail that is awesome. Um, this is a liner lock. And uh, to access it, you do have some nice access there. I will say, however, that the liner steel part of it is perfectly flush with the um, clip side G10. And that on occasion, I if I use the pad of my thumb to open it, it actually pinches my skin. So you actually have to get used to the fact that you can only push this over with your fingernail. Your thumbnail otherwise you pinch your skin a little bit here it doesn't hurt it's just on my callus or whatever but it's awkward the action on this is superb um i can't remember if i had to tune it or not when i got it out of the box i mean since then i've done an assembly but almost drop shut i mean it does drop shut but you know it's not like that smooth continuous but yeah it's good uh, runs on um, bearings. Bearings are moderately okay. They're not the most expensive, nicest thing in the world, but they're not the cheapest bearings I've ever seen in the world either. And then another really cool thing about this knife is that it's 14C28N, which I believe is the best budget steel for a blade that you can get under $100. I think it's better than D2. I think it's better than the, uh, the, the, what is it called? Um, CGRB has their proprietary steel, which is ARRM, R, RPM9. I believe it's better than that, although that's a perfectly good steel. I think that this is just an a awesome steel for a pocket knife than for a budget knife in general. And this is all for $49. So... Uh, the only thing that I have to say bad about it, like I said, is the liner lock pinching it. Let's just, just do some size comparisons for this too. Um, let's compare it to the Senkut Serene. So the Senkut Serene, I believe, is the biggest budget knife that I've seen all year. Uh, and it's very slicey. Thinner blade stock. Yeah, the Serene is slightly thinner, I believe. 
uh, but this is this is fine. Uh, what else do we want to compare this to? Let's compare it to the paramilitary two. So smaller than the paramilitary two, about the same handle size, but the blade is just a little bit smaller. Um, let's compare it to another knife that most people have, which would be the rat number two, R2D2 here. So smaller and then compare it to the rat one. So right in between medium sized knife. Uh, yeah. So I can, I can highly recommend this. Uh, I have been keeping track of the night of the budget knives of the year, and this is definitely in the running. So what do you guys think of this knife? Um, I had done a video earlier comparing first half of the knives, and uh, this is the Senkut Serene, and this is the Pyrite, which a lot of people absolutely love. This is the Mini Keen. I haven't really reviewed that one yet. This is the Quibit. I have reviewed this. This is the Slashkin. I have not reviewed that one yet. Um, for uh, shits and giggles, this is the Scythe from Sheldon. I love this knife. Uh, and then the Echo. So, you know, I think that this is definitely in good company for Budget Knife of the Year. Um, I can't wait to uh, do another video updating what I think uh, is currently. My last video, I said this was so far the best. Uh, and I was just including the Echo, the Sencut, the Pyrite, and the Quivet, these four guys. So all these other knives are new since I've gotten them. Uh, since I've done that video. So I can't wait to continue the review of this year. So that's it. What do you guys think of this guy? I think it's an amazing value. I definitely give it four stars and I think you should check it out. Um, there is also a, a wholly blacked out version except for the clip, which I also really like too. So thanks so much, guys. I'll see you next time on Sharp Ends. Have a good one. Bye-bye now.